All right, ICT traders, welcome back to the channel. So somebody dropped a question in the comments of one of the videos I've made so far requesting that I make a video explaining ICT intermarket analysis. And I feel it is important that some of you know about ICT intermarket analysis. For those of you who have never come across anything about intermarket analysis, this video is going to be very handy. And that is why I told you that hence, I'm going to be responding to your questions in the comments. So if you have any particular subject matter you want me to make a video on and you've checked my channel, you've not seen any video on that, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section and I will go through it and make a video explaining that particular subject matter. All right. And for those of you who are starting out with ICT for the first time, I have a dedicated YouTube channel separate from this one where I explain everything in detail from the beginner's level to advance. This is the YouTube channel. I'm going to place the link to this particular YouTube channel in the description of this particular video. All you have to do is to come over here and start watching from the beginner's basics. Um, we are still talking about the beginner's basics. I will go into the advance later after finishing the intermediate. Now ICT has so many videos, you know, this is all ICT premium contents. If you want to go through everything here, it will take you more than two years to go through everything whole lot of information so it's what i'm trying to compress in detail to give you and have access to them in a sequential arrangement so let's do ict intermarket analysis what exactly is intermarket analysis let me give you the simplest time to get this intermarket analysis is simply your ability to check a particular asset right and compare the performance of that asset with another asset asset D and asset E. If asset E is bullish, asset E will tell you maybe bearish. And the only asset we use in terms of intermarket analysis most of the time for ICT concept is the DXY, also known as the dollar index. The DXY is simply an indices that measures the performance of the United States dollar. And that is why I have the seven major currencies that appeared with the United States dollar right here to show you. So what you have here is all the major foreign currencies that appeared with the United States dollar. And then we'll go to the DXY, which you can actually see right here on my screen, the DXY. You can actually find DXY on other brokers platform. They have it right there. So that is the dollar index. It measures the performance, the exact performance of the United States dollar. So what happens is that this particular asset will give us an idea of the bias of the market. If you are still struggling with the bias, the daily bias, the weekly bias, what exactly is the dollar going to be doing over the week? So if the DXY is bullish, it means all other foreign currencies will be bearish, especially those that appeared with USD, if USD is on the right hand side of that particular peer, if USD is on the right hand side, uh, in the case of those other ones that USD is on the other side, that is the left hand side of the peer, we don't consider it as bearish, we can say they are bullish. I'm going to explain it in detail subsequently. I hope you're getting this clearly. So let's get into that. So this is the whole idea of doing an intermarket analysis. So when you come to TradingView or whatever platform you're using, you check DXY, come here and check DXY and then you're gonna get it right there. So I'm gonna start from the top-down analysis on DXY and know exactly what is the bias of the DXY. Knowing what DXY is doing will help us to know what exactly foreign currencies will do because that's the inverse relationship, the exact inverse relationship of that. So we have it right here. We have the monthly time frame right here looking at what is happening right now is basically price is bullish from here to here we have seen a bullish movement and we can actually see that price moved from here to here before retracing into discount and started moving up again we saw this movement above all these highs right here price moved in this certain direction, fetching external range liquidity. We don't know how price actually reached a certain level. Let's see. All right, look at this. Price traded into an old time institutional reference point. Can you see? Price traded from here to here. 
This is September 2001. Price traded into this bearish mitigation block, and that was why we saw price crashing into this area. I hope you're watching this. Price crashed into this area. So price traded down into a discount area, but in this discount area, price specifically traded into this fair value gap, BC, buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, this particular fair value gap. So everything in detail, I'm breaking it down in detail. So we will drop down to the lower time frame to see what is happening again. We go to the weekly time frame and see what is happening there. The weekly time frame is telling us the same thing. Price have traded down, fetching sell side liquidity below here because that is exactly what price is after. Fetching sell side liquidity here in the first place. Retracing up above here, fetching this liquidity again, fetching this one below here again, pushing. Let me show you. Price sweeping liquidity below here. If you observed carefully, you realize that this pushed below here, trading into here, and this one pushed below here and even traded close to this particular fair value gap, just the tip of this particular fair value gap that has an order block. Can you see this? Price actually traded into this particular fair value gap, and now we are seeing a bullish upward movement. Does that mean the dollar index is about to resume the upward direction because this is the weekly time frame you will observe that this is so many weeks i think throughout this year dxy has been coming down you can actually see it okay so what you have right here is the sudden movement to this upward side right here and that is why i told you you need more than just normal price action to trade in the financial market if you were trading this system let's say trend line this is what you're going to see trend line traders they could have been shorting this from here but look at this price is pushing even outside your trend line okay so that is one of the things you have to pay attention to price traded above that and we are seeing obvious movement to the bullish side now we can drop down to the to the daily time frame right here and see what is happening in the daily time frame we are breaking it down from the higher time frame down into this time frame so this is what we have in the daily time frame we have this movement price trading above here shifting market structure here i hope you're seeing this shifting market structure there telling you that i want to go up and it pushed above now retracing, this is a retracement from the condition I gave you about retracement. Retracing into this area, trading below this level. Fetching liquidity there and then we are officially bullish again. We can see a break of structure right there. Is that a break of structure? Yes, there is a break of structure there. So what do we have? Now from the daily time frame, what is your bias? From the daily time frame on DXY. Your bias is obviously bullish. It's bullish from your bias. So if price is moving outside this, where do you think price is going to retrace into? We have a fair value gap right here. And we have this particular bullish order block. But for the meantime, we have not seen retracement coming into this place. If we want to see retracement, we want to see price coming into this area deep before we continue upward. But retracement, this is just some short movement right here, but we are officially bullish. We can drop down to the four hour time frame and see what is happening. Right here in the four hour time frame, you can actually see what I was saying. Price has moved up to that area, moving to that particular level, and then we are seeing a little bit of retracement coming in. So we have this movement from here to here. And price is targeting a retracement into this place probably before pushing up again and that is how price moves always it push retrace it push retrace it push retraces i hope you're seeing this so what do we have right now we have price giving you a little bit of retracement but we are officially bullish on dxy that means foreign currencies will be what DXY is bullish, foreign currencies will be bearish. We expect foreign currencies to be bearish. Even in the one hour time frame, we're going to see it right here. Price is just having some kind of uh, 
chunky chunky movement before it push up again 15 minute still overall bullish i hope you are seeing this very clearly okay so we can go to foreign currencies especially the gbp usd one of my favorite currency peers and see how to trade that now we have established our bias from the intermarket analysis we can see that we are officially bullish on the dollar and since dollar is on the left hand side of this particular currency pair you can see it means this pair is going to be bearish this pair is going to go down and where do you think price is targeting if price is going to go down here you can see liquidity residing right below here this is liquidity residing the market is targeting this liquidity and then another area anytime you see old lows you should know that there is money below it that is the target of the big boys they are targeting this area because that is where the money is smart money are looking for those areas so we are seeing this downward movement and that is correlating with our dxy what dxy is telling you is reflecting here so you can go to the four hour time frame and see what is happening the four hour time frame now is here look at this um, what we have right here is pretty much understandable movement from here look at this price have cleared all the liquidity below here below here and below here completely clearing all this liquidity shifting structure and what do you think price normally does if there is a grab of liquidity external range liquidity price always retraces to either a premium or discount since we are dealing with a sell market we expect price to retrace into our premium area before crashing down right here there is this bearish order block and there is this very big favor value gap right there but what i'm seeing from this i'm suspecting price is going to create something called inducement because anytime you see price having this kind of relative equal highs just know that liquidity is residing above it and anytime you see liquidity there is going to be a kind of inducement so price may eventually come back and manipulate people push above here and reach out to this level and even reach out to this area if you are not careful okay so you have to watch this so for the meantime you know that price is actually bearish because dxy is bullish and this is it if you drop down to the one hour time frame you're going to see it in detail you're going to see it in detail look at what has happened price push above here and grab liquidity just here pushing down but there is this fair value gap at premium that i'm thinking price would love to come back to would love to come back to so if you're trading this you need to be careful even if you're trading in the london kill zone strategy you can see some opportunities coming in but you should have it in mind that there is a liquidity residing above here and right above it there is a very good favor look up that price may eventually come and fill and even reach out to this area before pressing down again so if i drop down to the 15 minute time frame what am i going to see i'm going to see something right here so look at this uh, you remember your ict london kills on hour after the sweep of asia and then uh, you know shifting market structure entry and then it gets to your target so let me show you that remember your indicator asian range asian range kill zones is that the indicator this is it so you just get your asian range and then you wait for a sweep of liquidity now you're not trading this blindly you're not trading this blindly because you know exactly what the bias is and you can see it from dxy that the dollar is strong so if the chart is heading down it means that you are doing the right thing you are doing the right thing so this is what has happened let me show you that price came and sweep liquidity above here sweep liquidity above here and this was exactly at the time of the kill zone hour the sweep of the liquidity happened at the time of the kill zone hour after asia you see this kill zone now you mark this area 
and you drop down to the lower time frame to get your shift in market structure and sell your target should be this opposing liquidity since you know there is that one hour favor look up above price even if price is going to come down it will not be pushing lower than this it will not be pushing lower than this this should be your target and even in the video i've made i told you that 20 to 25 pips is okay for this simple strategy so i can drop down to the five minute time frame and see if there is a shift in market structure and then i can take the trade from there that's pretty much easy to do that is there a shift in market structure here is there a shift in market structure after this push up you can see this you can consider this place to be a shift in market structure this place or even if you are seeing this place you can consider this place as your shift in market structure or even this place depending on what you're looking at right there because this one is more convincing to me this place is more convincing to me as where the shift in structure happened let me show you uh, market structure shift this one because all this kind of movement is just chunky chunky and this is not some major retracement i need to see some serious retracement so i consider this as a shift in market structure taking out this area and where do you think price is going to come back to here this is your entry if price is going to come back that is your entry your stop loss is where let me give you this uh, since this particular favor value gap is a bit big so you do something called the consequent encroachment you enter from the middle but beside it there is a mitigation block this guy is a mitigation block so you can even target that area for your entry i want to enter here mm, my stop loss i don't want to be very stingy just above here and my target is here let's see the risk to reward of that from here to here is about 25 pips and from here to here is about 10 pips so i'm sacrificing 10 pips for 25 pips so the entry is going to be here don't go more than this area this place i consider it to be a very strong area that price can get rejected because of that one hour favor look up above so all these things are connected together guys all these things are connected together they are very much connected you cannot use one and leave one the reason why i'm taking trade here is because even if i measure from here this movement to this place i am still in the premium area so it's safer for you to take trade in the premium and i have this institutional reference point so i can confidently take this trade and be happy if you can't see this in the five minute i hope you know you can drop down to the one minute time frame all the same whatever you can see from the time frame you can take it from there and well you have your trade according to that and that is the simple logic you knew that market is going to be bearish from your intermarket analysis and you see some sudden you know uh, grab of liquidity above Asian high shift in market structure here return to a favor look at mitigation block confluence boom you enter the trade I, I think this is fair enough this is fair enough so if you want to see change in your trading you have to be very very much flexible you have to know exactly what these things are happening how these things are happening and you know know exactly how to go across everything so this is what is happening currently price is right here and i'm thinking price is targeting this place guys this place because uh, you know this area is is still at the discount area this area and the big boys except if the big boys are not in the market if you're measuring from here to here except if the big boys are not in the market but this area i don't think is around your ote this favor value gap is at ote so price may love to go there so price may love to go there this is just a little bit above the 50 percent area well anything can happen but if you are looking at that this is a very good area for shorting again if price should go up to that place and you see a shift in market structure return and you can short this place from there that is how to trade professionally guys if you have any question make sure you ask me in the comments and i will always be there to respond to your questions guys thank you for watching and if you love what i'm doing guys why not give this video a like and subscribe to this youtube channel because you always have this kind of content from me